Welcome back to Prey. The next thing I was going to do was hack my way into the volunteer testing place. But before that, I realized that I don't think I actually fully explored the volunteer quarters. It's the place with no power and no real light. Um, I went off this way. This way, I've definitely explored. However, I don't think I ever went this way. I started picking up a bunch of food on the tables and I realized, oh, I just haven't been here at all. So yeah, it's like a cafeteria kind of place. There's lots and lots of food. So much food. My inventory must be bursting at the seams. Yeah, almost. I really need to upgrade my inventory. Also, 11 narrow mods. Oh, yeah, I, I think I forgot to save the game right when I stopped recording last time. I think the save game was from right after I made all the narrow mods. Because I think I spent these, didn't I? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I spent them on the next level of... Um, this? Didn't I? Yeah, so sorry if this is different than what I did before, but um, I'm going to go with firearms to increase my damage. I think that's what I did before, and then I'm going to save up. Wait for when I have one more neural mod, and then I can get Gunsmith 2. Yeah, okay. Can't believe I forgot to save. I volunteered. I'm not the same man I was two years ago. Alexei Petrov told me. Talos 1 has a way of changing you, rebuilding you into a better person. Petrov, along with three other members of the Menshevik movement, were arrested and convicted of the 2029 Red Square attacks, which killed 32 people. All four men were sentenced to death. However, just two weeks from his execution, Petrov was approached by tech giant Transtar. The company offered him a second chance. As part of a new program called the Transtar Volunteer Initiative, Petrov was given the opportunity to work as a human test subject in exchange for a commuted sentence. They tell me, come up to our space station, work with us on top secret science projects, give back to the world from which you have taken so much. So I did, Petrov said. I'm glad I did. Petrov isn't allowed to talk about the work he did on Talos 1, but there's no denying he's a changed man. The former secondary school dropout is now working on doctorate in astrophysics and says he hopes to work for Transtar one day. Creepy. And my flashlight's out of battery. That's also creepy. Something feels very wrong in this room. Oh, fucking Christ! That scared the shit out of me! Fuck you! I actually, like, jumped. God, my mouse just, like, wiggled all over the place. It's the first time I think that's happened. I've been kind of scared by the mimics before, but not like that. I have no idea why that scared me so much. Note. 
Luca is no contrabandist. I don't know why he has the goods that he has. I can show you where he keeps them, but fair is fair. You want his goods? You look other way with me. Oh, come on, flashlight. I heard you. Oh, power control terminal. All right, let's see if we can get the power back on. Oh. Well, that doesn't look good. Why is the entire floor electrified? Alright, that's fine. Two trash cans. I'm suspicious. No, they're real. Ah. I definitely hear another one. Food do I have? 35. Whew. No way to open it? I guess not. Secrets? Secrets? Aha! Secrets! Hee <laughs> hee! Drop ceiling outside the door to the habitation pods. Hmm. Ceiling outside the door to the habitation pods. Where are the habitation pods? Okay, so now we fully explored this area. Guy, so it is real, huh? The hell are you, you creepy mofo? Gotcha. Wish I could have scanned you, but I'm not sure how I would manage that. Okay. 
Right. Well, now that... <laughs> I hear mimic noises? Sounded like mimic noises. Huh. Maybe nothing. So yeah, this is... Yeah, that's where I went up to get to the, the fabrication place to do that, that quest. I got so excited going there that I guess I forgot to explore the rest of this place. But anyway, now that the power's up, we can use the computers. Please keep locked between blah blah blah. The volunteers on roster should be accounted for before locking. Okay, well I guess I don't have to hack my way in there anymore. Wait. No. This is fall. What part of it was locked? Volunteer testing was the place on the outside that was locked. This is volunteer quarters, which is this whole place. I'm not sure what I just unlocked. Nukika. Thanks for reaching out. I've asked Chief Elazar to send a team to do a quick once-over of the premises to ensure that you're absolutely safe during the next shift. Obviously, the safety of both our volunteers and our security staff is our number one priority. Can't post any more security personnel to this location at this time, but we're looking to expand our security staff and may be able to revisit this issue in the future. So reply to, I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. The, oh! <laughs> from a long, long, long time ago, like, I feel like near the beginning of the game, I saw this original email being sent from someone's computer. I didn't see the reply, though, I don't think. 16th threat to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 6243, not the old number on file. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. I've definitely read that before. Odd feeling of deja vu. Alright, there's also a computer out here. Uh. Let's just to track down the crew. Is there another poltergeist? Creepy noises. Can I play? Dang, I can't. Oh! That's the habitation pods. So, just outside the door to habitation pods. Ah. Drop the ceiling. I don't know what I unlocked. Must be that place back there, right? Okay, how much does this electric this electrified floor actually hurt? Huh. Okay. So, it's up there, huh? VR and pomegranate moonshine. Alright, let's get the hell out of this creepy place. Now, let's go check out volunteer testing. 
right after we have some botanical adventures. Okay. Yeah, this place is still locked. So I really don't know what I unlocked back there. Testing room A. God, I hate that door sound. That sounds like a freaking razor. That noise. Shing, shing. I hate it. Voltaic Phantom. No entries found. Weak to EMP, null wave, and psychic. Got some EMP left, right? I have 16 recyclers. Dang. Yeah, wow. When did I get so many grenades? 7 EMP. Maybe we should try a recycler just to see if it works, but I'm pretty sure that's that one type that I used a recycler on and it didn't do anything, I think. But, uh, it doesn't hurt to try, I guess, right? Okay, it kinda hurts to try. Yeah, it hurt to try. I'm not sure whether it doesn't work or it just came up short, because that really came up short. The grenades consistently go way shorter than I think they will. So, let's try uh, this way. Oh god, that did nothing. Yeah, that did, like, literally nothing. Yeah, I'm not sure if the EMP actually stunned it, or if it just straight did damage. It definitely did a lot of damage. I'm out of space. So much food. Maybe I should actually recycle the food. Never thought of doing that before, but... Give me a lot of... nature... material. Installation and extraction.
clear the place first and then loot it. Okay, I think we're good. Requesting new operator. Transtar Pyramid 490 Medical Class Operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. Is this just trying to taunt me? I want that bag of biohazard. It's not openable though. Evil. just run out of here and go to a recycler. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I'm gonna run to a recycler. There we go. So I'm gonna recycle all the junk, of course, and also all the alcohol and some of my spare parts, because 50 is the max for a stack and it started spilling over into another stack and I just don't need that many. I'd like to get rid of some of these. Um... Looks like Z to split. Oh, okay. Let's get rid of that much too. I'll just keep 25 on me. I, I keep getting so many of those. All right, that'll clear up a bunch of space. And with all those materials, I could craft a bunch more neuro mods up to nine. So let's go ahead and get Next level of gunsmith. And with that, we can upgrade our stuff very nicely. Definitely gonna max this thing's firepower out. <laughs> it's gonna do so much damage. Let's do that and let's also max the ammo capacity out. Shotgun is going to be so deadly. And we probably have enough neural mods left to do something. Three. Hmm, can increase the effectiveness of medkits. That would be good. Not that I'm really running out of medkits, but... You know, when I do need to take them, I usually need to take like two or three during battle. So, there's that. Don't care. I mean, increasing recycling yield would be good, of course. And then that leads to stuff that allows you to upgrade the... Uh, the glue cannon and stuff. Hmm. Maybe I should do this. I mean, this is really going to add up over time. I probably should have done this kind of near the beginning, you know? Get the most out of it, but still. Better late than never. It's not like we're at the end game yet, I don't think. Stamina. Movement speed. Yeah, so I'm thinking increase ma the material yield. And then after that, maybe save up for the next suit modification. Alright, let's loot this place properly now. Did I fully explore this room? I did. Right. I was in this room. Neural scan. Patient connectome must be updated with a recent neural scan in order to perform a successful optoregressive neurotomy. Surgical procedures. This procedure will extract a designated neuromod from the subject. Subject may be confused upon awakening from their apto-regressive neuro uh, neurotomy and could show erratic behavior. The following audio will assist patients in understanding what has happened and ease their shock. Hello, volunteer. My name is Bianca Goodwin. I'm the volunteer and guest liaison aboard Talos One. I wanted to be the first person to congratulate you when you woke. 
On behalf of everyone at Transtar, well done and thank you. I'm sure you feel disoriented. This is because you've just experienced a medical procedure known as apto-regressive neurotomy. For the next few hours, you might have trouble with fine motor skills or recalling details. More importantly, your memory of the tests is completely gone. But don't worry. I want you to know your willing participation was a big success. It's already yielding valuable information for our scientists and engineers. So, please, rest easy for now. Once you feel well enough, I'll come by to conduct your exit interview. See you soon. Hello, volunteer. My name is Bianca Goodwin. Hmm. If I dragged a body in there, would I be able to scan them? Probably not. I'll try it, though. I can help you. Ooh, a great kit. Better reload speed? I really just... I don't see the point of recoil. It's such a close-up weapon that recoil just seems kind of irrelevant to me. But yeah, reload speed. Echo. So this just loops around. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Door there, door here. Hello, nice to see you. Creepy noise. What? Okay. It's back again. Anyway, we'll just ignore it for now. Let's see what the exit looks like. I've already read the thing about white noise. What the hell? Is that a piano? Man lobby? No. Not 
sure what repairing that would do. Oh wait, no, this does link around to the main lobby. Yeah, this is like the very, very beginning. So the nightmare's out there in the main lobby waiting for me. Right, I guess I'll just repair this. I don't know. Grav shaft repair. Oh, it gets the grav shaft going. Did I never go to research and design them? I saw at least one more, though, when I peeked inside. Morgan, I found a satellite project dealing with remote psychotronic signaling, RPSS X5. I think it could spoof a neural signature that matches yours. Plain English, you could use it to get that new Typhon off your back. Latest tech logs show the satellite was damaged, though. You'd have to find a replacement part. Well, at least the good thing is, for now, Sleeping Beauty is awake. The nightmare is over. In the words of that jackass protagonist from Phase Paradox. Hey, Alice? Send you the white paper. Wait, that's a reply. Oh. No, we don't see the original question. Um, send you the white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's the nutshell version for now. Creating a new skill from a neural mod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. Mm, I feel like we've read this. Yep, just saying that you, it resets your memory back to when you first installed it. They wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype neuromods. That means going way the hell back. Hence the apartment sim. User dedicated their science is all I can say. Yeah, I definitely read that. about this morning. I've already read that. I'll join you in the cafeteria, but Igwa's got a lecture scheduled. Here's hoping it gets right to the Neuromod update so we can do a proper eval on the tech side. But you know Igwe. He'll go as a near on us for an hour until we're all seeing circles and wavy lines. You'd think you would have learned Earthside to stay focus. focused. Tell me about it. Don't know what scares me more. The time Dr. Wiggy spends in the lab or when he takes the stage. It's like listening to a metronome. Huntress Boltcaster. I've already got this, but I'll take it again, I guess. Stand up notes. Mm, yeah, I've already read that. I'm pretty sure I have been here, but there's just new enemies. Yep, definitely been here. So I'm only gonna look at new stuff that I can maybe hack that I couldn't get before. Or flowers to steal. Haha, <laughs> got in the air. Okay. How do I get in there? Can't fit through there, right? No. I didn't see a way in there. 
Ah. Nice. Such sad music. That hurts to look at. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I've ever used a Typhon lure, have I? Uh uh. Decontamination exercise. What do you think they found? Ah, oh, this leads to the lobby. Okay. <sighs> I want them. Hmm. That's glass, right? Can I just shoot it? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the note. Eight six seven six. New key code. Alex's office safe. Oh, is that part of a December destroyed? Hmm. I think that's part of one of the quests that I disabled. Yeah, I think I disabled all of them. Maybe I should turn them back on. Christ, there's so many of them. Yeah, so let me see if there's any more of these side quests I want to do while I'm here before going back to where I was before. Alright, so I'm going to follow up on the quest that we just got to go do the whole satellite thing to try to... See if I can take care of the nightmare that keeps following me. For that, we gotta go back to the lobby, and then to hardware labs. There's nothing new in the lobby. I think we're okay. Cystoid nest there at Hardware Labs. Hmm. Once again, I forget the proper way to get up there. I know I can take my special bath that I made, but what was the right way? Ah, who cares about the right way? Trauma Center? Is there something in there yet again? I think so, but there's really no reason for me to go back in there. Hmm? Oh no, that's where it is. Damn, it can see me through the little window. See ya. Oh, 
gotta watch out for this histoid nest. Mm. If only I had something to throw. Something to throw up here. Nope. Oh, shit. Oh, that's glass. Easily breakable glass, apparently. Hello, banana peel. some junk real fast. We still have, like, I'm looking at the quests that we have, seeing which ones are kind of behind me and which ones are kind of in front of me in terms of main quest progression. And it looks like there's not too many that are behind me, really. So last I was in the Arboretum. So this one is to go to Alex's office safe in the Arboretum. This is to go to Deep Storage, which is also kind of where I need to go for the main quest. Deep Storage in the Arboretum. This is in the Arboretum. This is in the Guts. Josh Dalton, the person working on the top secret Black Box project. So that is kind of in the past. That one's in the past. This one is in the past. That's hardware labs that I'm doing right now. And then these are all crew quarters. Oh, this one is the who knows where, the drop points. And these are crew quarters, which I still haven't been to yet, but maybe I can go to crew quarters now? I don't know. But yeah, I'm trying to do the ones that are Obviously, in the past. Uh oh. Well, I got a lot of recycler charges. Oh, that didn't work. Teleporting little bastards. Come here. Eh. <laughs> All right, fine. Try to combat time. Maybe I didn't have enough Psy. Yeah, if you don't have enough Psy to do the action when you go to try to use it, it uses a Psy Hypo instead. So you need to press it twice in that case. Once to use a Psy Hypo and then once to actually do the thing. Anyway, with this new shotgun, man, they go down fast.
What new monstrosities are down here? Got a robot. Okay. Two evil robots, and I'm pretty sure I heard noises of a phantom. One good sneak attack whack, and they're down. It actually works pretty well. Let's see if I can get the other one. And the other one's none the wiser. Seeing me? Okay. It saw me somehow. Don't know how it saw me. This this thing here was obviously completely blocking the line of sight. That was weird. I gotta go straight through there. Gotta deal with my old nemesis. Ope. Ope, ope, ope. It's not even a word. But I see one of them. One of the etheric phantoms, yeah. Does so much damage. Between being upgraded and the 200% sneak damage and all that. Just brutal. Hello, friend. That's a communication device. How do I get down there? Oh, don't tell me. Do I have to repair it? I'm not getting repair three anytime soon. Crap. Is that the only way? I feel vaguely like I've been down there before, but I might just be misremembering. Let me look around and see if there's another way. Yeah, I don't think there's any other way in, as far as I can tell. Moving. Unless there could be something up there, above that arm? Doubt it, but it's worth a try. Um, let's see. Let's maybe do this. That might do. Hmm. 
Oh, there we go. Ooh. Well, this is gonna help me get in there, but I found a nice little stash. <laughs> Clive was here. <laughs> yeah, I found so much stuff just visiting areas I've already been to. I thought I was thorough, but there's still more. Okay, well, I guess I'm not getting in there, unless I come back a lot later once I've gotten all the neuromods that I need to get repair three, which is a lot. Need 12 neuromods in total. I really just don't want to focus on repair. I would just use it for this one quest, so I think I'm just going to avoid it. There's the question of what I spend my neuromods on now. I constantly switch between like, oh yeah, I'm going to spend it on this, like, suit modification, get more space, and then... Two seconds later, I'm like, ah, I want to spin it on this, I want to spin it on this. I do think since combat focus is kind of my main combat ability, it's my only thing that takes Psy, I feel like I should upgrade that. I've had it forever, but I've never upgraded it past the base. So I'm just going to do that. Let's recycle a couple more things that we just got including the extra bolt caster and the alcohol. Okay, since I can't do this quest, I'm going to try doing find a Josh Dalton in the guts. And according to where it's directing me, it looks like the fastest way is to go out the airlock. I'm not sure where I go from there. I'm assuming it's somewhere I've already been, but... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll bring you back if anything interesting happens along the way. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. Okay, well, bringing you back for this, I wasn't expecting this. So this is Psychotronics, that's right. Ooh. That's where I went from being outside in space. This is the pathway to the guts. And when I looked down here, there was a large amount of them. Yeah, look at them, they, they come. Weird. This time they got kind of like stuck down there.
like this time I avoided angering the phantom. Right. Well, now we can enter the guts. How did I get there before? I forgot the exact pathway. Was it through the morgue? I feel like it was. There's a lot of these around, huh? This is to the guts, right? I think so. Yep. Now, I think this is going to take me probably to the... Um, what was it called? The Magnetosphere? I remember there was a computer there that you could use to monitor location of people, but I think I searched for this Dalton person on that computer and I don't remember seeing them. So I'm not quite sure where this is taking me. Inspecting. Your suit integrity is nominal. Microgravity detected. Ooh, can really get some speed. Hopefully nothing's returned here. Oh, I'm seeing all sorts of things I missed before. There's a way to stop the fan. Aha! Secrets! Shortcut, I guess. Neat. Any other fans I missed? I think I went up through there or something, just to skip going through this door. But I can also just do this.
Oh, that's to the magnetosphere. Right. That's magnetosphere and that's cargo tunnel. Well, I guess try the computer in the magnetosphere again. So, Josh Dalton, right? Yep, Josh Dalton. I could use a security station to track him down. Ah, found him under Hardware Labs at the very top. Josh Dalton. Yeah, I just missed him before. Okay. They're down there. So, I just gotta drill my way through the floor and then I'll be right at him. I think I better take the shortcut this time. So I need to go to the cargo tunnel. Magnetosphere activated. Inspecting your suit meets regulation. Slow down. Yeah, I never really did explore this area too much. I kind of just ran through it. I don't know. It was scary and big. Oh, shit. Cystoid, cystoid. Is that a cystoid or a weaver? That's also a cystoid. those radiation things. Ah! Oh, Christ. Yeah, Josh Dalton is deep in here. If you didn't track him and try to specifically do this quest, you probably would never find him. They down here. Where does this go? I think this is the wrong way. Such a nasty sound. 
God. Okay. Josh, you're a hard person to find, Weaver. Well, if there's enemies, then I'm probably going the right way. Okay, no wave transmitter, right? I've got one. Okay, cool. My god, two shots. Uh oh. I don't know if an EMP is going to explode. Oh, I didn't even see the techno path. Oh, didn't didn't see it. Shotgun. bad. That was real bad. Where's that techno bath body? Shuttle Bay? I don't think I've been there before. Oh, I think that's the body. There we go. Need those materials. If I get hit by one of those things, I wonder if I'd die. So cargo bay and shuttle bay. Cargo bay, it looks like it thinks I've been there. I don't remember, but shuttle bay I definitely haven't been to. Intriguing. Cargo processing. Yeah, there's a whole bunch I missed. Let's get an engineering operator, fix up my seat. Event malfunction, the cargo processing system requires manual reactivation. What the hell? Operator approach. Oh, oh, it's the shadow of that. Oh, Christ, you scared me. Inspecting. Your suit suffered some wear and tear. I'll fix that. Ready to complete.
system must be active from, from both guts and cargo bay within eight minutes, otherwise the system must be reactivated. Hmm. Well, I guess there's no point in doing this yet. Okay, Edward. I'm in position here in Cargo Bay. Once I execute the cargo processing command on this end, we will have limited time to activate it on your side and guts. That should re-establish the, car the cargo transit. Thank you for helping me with this. Next time I promise I will not forget my transcribe. I swear I had it with me this morning. It's like it just grew legs and walked away or something. The instant you ping me, I will trigger this inside. Maybe it did walk away. Okay, so we want to do that and go into the cargo bay and also the other place. But I also want to find Josh Dalton. So how about that Josh Dalton, huh? Where are you, Joshy boy? Already tried going down there. I don't think the map would help. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. <laughs> I mean, there's Josh and it looks like, hey, if I just go forwards, I'll get to Josh, but n no. Oh, maybe I get to them through the cargo bay or something. Or the shuttle bay. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, radiation. Hey, 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 I'm not moving. Eh, 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 eh. Wow, that really doesn't go far, does it? Get it. Ah, oh, whatever. Good enough. Is there another one? Ah, oh, crap. Woo! Need to make more pistol ammo, I guess. Still some back here. Wow, this place is extensive. Alright, well I think I'm going to save this for the next episode. I really didn't expect to find so much new stuff when going back to areas that I've already been to, but there is a lot that's unexplored. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return I'm going to explore the shuttle bay, the cargo bay, and hopefully at some point during that find Josh Dalton.